guys! Today I have a hair tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to do the pull-through braid, which is this braid right here, which I think we can all agree looks pretty amazing. Even though it's not actually a braid and there is no actual pulling through involved, so I'm not sure why it's called that, but hey, let's roll with it. So this hairstyle is super easy to do. It is very long-lasting, very sturdy, and yeah, you may be surprised when you see how to do this, so let's get started. So what you're going to need, first of all, are these tiny little hair elastics, those rubbery ones that are really stretchy and horrible to take out of your hair. Yeah, I'm sorry you have to use these, but this does really look the best with this type of braid. So I'm gonna use these. If you're worried about removing these from your hair, you can always just cut them out after you've worn the hairstyle. That's the safest option. If not, just be very careful when removing these. A comb and a little clip. So I'm gonna start by separating out a section of hair on the top of my head and I'm just going to pull my hair straight back. And then I'm going to take one of these hair elastics and tie this off into a ponytail. So now that you have your ponytail you're going to flip it over to the front and just clip it down there for now. If you're not talking while doing the braid, which I obviously am, you can just hold it in your mouth. It's a lot easier and quicker to do. Just a tip. <laughs> so I'm going to separate out more hair, comb this back, and make a second ponytail. So then you can Take your first ponytail and what I'm going to do now is separate this ponytail into two like that and pull that lower ponytail through and clip it away in the front again. So now what I'm going to do is take even more hair from the sides combine it with that hair those two sections that I just had and tie all of this together. Whoops. Together. Whoops. Okay, so then I'm going to, again, let down my top ponytail, divide it into two, and then take this ponytail and clip it up. And then I'm going to do the same thing, so just gather some hair Make a new ponytail, and I'm going to continue to do that until I reach the nape of my neck, which I'm almost there. Okay, so now I'm just going to combine all the hair. Alright, now before I move on to the tail part of my braid, I'm going to go back, start with my very first loops and pull these out towards the side. I'm going to make these way bigger than they were. And then when those are done, I'm going to move on to the next part, tug on the sides. And when you've done that, you should end up with something like this. Nice and voluminous. So let's continue doing the same thing. So take the top ponytail, divide it into two. And now I am going to hold the lower ponytail in my mouth so that I don't have to clip it up all the time. So I'm gonna stop talking here, but I think you get the general idea by now. At a certain point you can just flip the braid forward and continue like that. It's much easier on the arms. Okay, so once you've almost reached the bottom of your hair, I'd say stop and go back to the nape of your neck and start pulling these out. Just to be sure that you don't run out of hair on the bottom. Be 
because this will make your tail shorter. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do one more and then stop there. So when you've done the last one, you can just combine the two ponytails together, tie them together. Oh, I hate these hair elastics. All right, and then just tug at the last couple of loops that you've done. And there is your pull through braid done. I love how this looks like I have so much hair when actually I, I don't have that much hair. <laughs> and it's just really easy to do. It is easier to do than a Dutch braid, I'd say. And it lasts a lot longer because it is secured with hair elastics and not just by the force of braiding. So I absolutely love this hairstyle. I really hope you try it out guys. I hope you are successful. Good luck. But that is going to be the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more hair tutorials. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!